And we're back. Hello, I'm Earth Scorpion again, and we're going for another run for Enter the Gungeon. This time I'm going to be playing as the pilot, the last character uh, that I haven't completed with. We'll see how this goes. So, once again, we head into the depths of the dun Gungeon. That's the marker in game, incidentally, that indicates that I have all the components for the bullet to kill the past. And in we go. Ah, cute little bullets. So, the pilot... Well, the reason I haven't completed them yet is they're my least favourite character. Their starting weapon is not great. By not great, I mean it's really not great. Slow firing. Slow travelling and has a painfully wide scatter. Also, among its other undesirable traits, is the fact that it takes... Uh, it has a shorter, uh, shorter maximum range. Which basically means there is literally no reason to use his energy blaster over, say, the cowboy revolver of the, uh, the hun of, uh, hunter. To say even about the, uh, the soldier's pistol. The soldier's Honestly, has the best starting pistol, in my opinion, at least. The and he doesn't even have the advantage of the. Uh, thank you very much, game. At least thing I needed. Yeah, he doesn't even have the advantage of the um, of the convict weapon, which is yes, it's not great, but it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger, which is a considerable advantage. And. Right, well, we won't be going to the boss room immediately, of course not. No, but it's run, we're okay, going to do the usual gear getting thing. Uh, so, the advantage that the convict has is that he gets to carry two um, active items instead of one at the start of the game, and in addition, he also gets to. Uh, he also gets um, cheaper prices in shops. Now, that is a significant advantage. So inaccurate, it's horrible. Oh, I hate that one. The thing about the screen is that it shows you the thing at the bottom. Uh, well, no, that's not right at all. It doesn't show you the thing at the bottom. What it does is it moves to face the direction in which you're looking. Ow, stupid explosive crates. Thank you, Explosive Praise. These are somewhat tougher for forms of a basic gun dead. They have machine pistols. That's not so good. I mean, is it, yeah, so a bit of extra speed is useful. Not great, though. From a blue treasure chest, I expect better.
Okay. Uh, so, so if we, we can switch through uh, between items using the up on my D-pad because I play with a um, uh, 360 controller. That's at least something. Uh, not worth it. I'll go. I'll try picking a lock. Yeah. Ugh. Unfortunately, like I said, I wanted a gun, but that's not a very good gun. Its property is it's basically a standard pistol, except whenever you fire, it does a fire muzzle flash. Um, the problem with this, of course, is that, well, okay, if an enemy is that close, you'd rather not be that close. Oh well, at least it fires better. So we've got our poison vial. So that's him dead. What do we get from that? Eh, not... Whoa, actually no, that's pretty good. The Hex Gun is a sniper rifle but has a proc chance to turn your enemy um, into a chicken. Uh, those two things are useless. So I will go spend my money on... Okay, tricky of course. This that costs 21 uh, casings rather than the normal 25. And the rest of it I'll just save up. Uh, we have that. Hmm. Uh, one of the things the game does is it automatically refills your uh, blanks to two if you have fewer than that. Therefore, if you only have if you have two or fewer blanks at the end of a level, just go find a place where our secret walls often spawn, blow them there. That does your job for you. So, other games that I've been thinking of doing include, um, or possibly some of, uh, Kentucky Route, Ten Kentucky Route Zero. However, the I mean, I got as far as doing a trial thing for the sound, um, but I ran into the problem that, well, I mean, I, I do love Kentucky Route Zero, but I'm afraid it might not be the most exciting game to watch someone play. I mean, it's basically walking through a silent world. Uh, with some dialogue lines being read out at most. So, I mean, basically, the question of whether that would be interesting to see is if you uh, wanted to effectively have a game of me uh, reading things out, which is not the most enjoyable thing, it's rather lacking in action. Um, but th then again, I don't know. What else? I consider doing some transistor, um, but I'm out of practice. I mean, at 
completed Transistor before. I, again, a Transistor is a game I really like, and the music is gorgeous. Uh, but would it, is it something you'd want to see? Again, comments. Um, that'll tell me. I might start. A new, I mean, might even start a new game for it. Um, although that would. I'll let you see things from the start. Although, because at the moment, of course, my current save is New Game Plus. That boss ball pattern is a predictable thing. Um, whenever you see a lead maiden in that room, it means you're going to also go against one of those uh, buffers. And given, I think they, I think I'm pretty sure from empirical testing, they do something like double the health of the target. Um, well, a lead maiden already is a hard target with a really annoying combat pattern. veterans unpleasant Actually, another game which I got to try was trying to test for compatibility was uh, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Now that would be a lot of fun, it would be really quite suitable for the RP format, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. I don't know why, that was really quite strange. Oh good, Jolter. Um, but yeah, that, I, I just, it wasn't displaying it. I don't know why that happened, that's a... Was, maybe it was something to do with the uh, displaying in the window? So I mean, I might, I might give it another go to see if it gets working, because I think it will be a lot of fun. Especially with its, uh, how to put it, it it's dynamic story. Uh, that's one way of putting it. it. Oh good, an extra blank. And 
yeah, but that's, that's, uh, that's an, one of the am, uh, ammo let sequence of items. They're, in most circumstances, not great, again. Um, while in theory it'll be a good thing, in practice, uh, the amulets don't really help much. I mean, they're only usable when you use a blank. So, want Jolta primary, hex gun. Actually, we'll take hex gun primary. And we're up against the beholster. science cannon a lot recently. Not a fan of that. Eighty six players. Not waste the case, maybe. Got way of armor out of that. There's all the uh, treasure room is the best place for that, so I'll take the mailbox as well. It's fairly useful in that it's a good substitute weapon. The problem with the. Uh, well, when I say it's a good substitute weapon, I mean it like this. So, the way it works is um, there are several types of weapon that have a main slot which fires a certain way and then a secondary slot, um, a secondary shot which fires at the end of a clip um, which has a special effect. The uh, mailbox itself fires a package which does random things, sometimes poison, sometimes covering around me and glitter. One advantage of the Phoenix of the Stun Pistol, of course, is that if this does fire as fast as you fire as you hold trigger, so while it normally fires like that, you can go. That is the ah uh, the core problem of the Phoenix. The fire uh, obscures your line of sight. Yeesh. I think I'll see if there's another way to go around. Sometimes they do, of course, make you do that. That is not happy times. Leave 
lethal status effects. So, time to go see what the shop has for us. Uh, so, this is Cursula. Yes. Um, her items. Oh, that would be nice. I'd like. I like the sound of that. Basically, I just want to drop nuclear weapons on people. But her items do increase your curse, which is something to be avoided. But sometimes it's going to be worth it. You know, what, I'll come back. If I have enough money for it, I might actually buy that just so I can show it off if I wanted to give it. That was not good. Go away! Yes, I forgot. I got to. I forgot to go and look at the items. Um, so, what do we have here? Phoenix, reborn in flame. The muscle flare from his fiery handgun can ignite enemies, turn enemies to dust. Famously wielded by two-shot Arius on her final gungeon attempt. Hexagon, light fantastic, can transmogify foes. The hexagon was created by a vengeful gunger after his apprentices were slain by a gungeoner wielding a humble bundle of wands. Jolter. Uh, we saw that last time. Science Cannon. This immense beam cannon was developed as part of a bid to win the economy's military contracts. The, said stre the steady stream of intense science energy it fires is a true testament to what physics and engineering can accomplish. Mailbox. Contains junk mail and one untrustworthy package. It was a wise and hopeful gunner for to observe that mailboxes share the ba same basic shape as guns. When they sh uh, sought to change their past, they wondered if any gun-shaped object would operate as guns do within the gungeon walls. 
Uh, so the poison vial, yes, for external use only. It creates a pool of poisonous goop. Stolen from a witch's storehouse, this jar contains the essence of to uh, poisilon, poisilblon, toxic to, to gun dead and gun engineer alike. We've got here, we've got uh, disarming personality, reduces price at shops. The pilot is able to talk his way into almost anything, usually gun fights. Hidden compartment, increases maximum, uh, increases active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Ever since the Hegonomy caught him with a few questionably legal goods, the pilot has turned to more clandestine storage methods. Shotgun coffee, again we saw that last time. Master round, first chamber. This rare artifact increased master of a, mastery of a first uh, chamber. Basically gives you an extra health uh, if you no hit a boss. Uh, copper amulet. Blanks have a chance to ignite enemies. This enchanted copper amulet was forged deep within the forge, warm to the touch. And green guon stone. Chance to heal upon taking damage. The green guon stone pours pain and has a small chance to heal, it, heal its bearer upon being wounded. It seems to grow more desperate as the risk of death arises. Uh, the main useful thing about the, the guon stone sequence items is those are actually physical items rotating around me. Uh, that means that they block bullets. So, we could get the half heart, or we could accept I'm probably going to die, and get the big boy instead. See, might not be wise, but it's a lot more fun. Are there any levels left to go? Hopefully, I'll find something big and can just like pick up its uh, weapon. That'll be nice. We saw that last time. Not the most useful item right now. No, far from it. So we've got the uh, the big boy. We've got our hexagon. gun. And we'll see who we face. Ah, once again, this is the cannonball roll. This is not fair. This is three invincibility frames it's done so far. Die. 
I mean, it's not like I've been hurt by any of them, but that was, I, I say this is not playing fair. This That's that then, I guess. And that's what happens when you fail. You get told you failed. And then you return to the breach and go try again. Ooh, but do I have enough to... Anything else, though? 23. Hmm. But we're going to just take a quick look and see... If there's anything particularly nice in here. RC rocket or chaff grenade? Well, apart from both being Metal Gear Solo things. Um, 37 more bullet sharks before the next unlock. Yeah. Okay, so I guess two more until the uh, uh, gun trauma just down. So we leave you again. Uh, this has been Earth Scorpion playing and failing at Enter the Gungeon. So I don't know if there'll be another one up, or whether it'll be a different game. I mean, I, I think I've kind of exhausted what I can talk about for Enter the Gungeon, and I don't think you're all playing it, watching this for my masterful skills at playing or lack thereof. So again, we'll see how things go for the next update.